Okay, one guy was interested in these heads, wanting to see some more of them. So I'm gonna actually take some video of this. Let's see here. <laughs> I wish this guide material was good <laughs> because these heads are actually uh, pretty cool looking. I mean, they're nice. Um, if you look at the combustion chamber, as far as the like machinist ridge, it's almost non-existent. I mean, you can just barely, now, I mean, just barely hit that to clean it up. I mean, it would be nice and smooth transition. It, and everything, all the ports are nice and smooth. Everything's smooth, there's no big chunks of anything. Now this here, as you can see, it sticks out. So you could grind that off and blend it in. And then with this aluminum, it'd be super easy to de-shroud these. I mean, and just, it, it's already laid back. So there's nothing just de-shrouding here on the edges a little bit to get the low lift flow. And then, and the, like it is the angled plug toward the exhaust, which is supposed to be racy. Um, the only thing, it's a pretty good transition here. Except for, there is a slight, I don't know if you can tell or not, like on the intake, there is a slight little teeny dip. But if this was to be laid back on the short turn, because it's just a sharp edge in there where they cut into it, if that was to be laid back, you wouldn't have to do like that head bites guy says and go to oversized valves to get rid of it. Because they didn't, it's just the... Uh, you can see right there between the seat where it goes into the aluminum and it's just the slightest, the slightest of ridge. I mean, that could just be blended right in nice and smooth. Let's get my focus back. But the runners, I mean, for the do-it-yourself person, just a little bit of smoothing and blending and then the short term, let me see over here on the exhaust. I mean, unless you're like a professional to where you know exactly what to do and how to, but I mean, just to blend the thing and to smooth it, or you could use the trick with the sandpaper and pull in there and just keep off the seat and just let it roll itself back. But the heads. Let's see over here. Let's see. The guides aren't sticking in very far. I mean, if someone wanted to profile that and raise the roof on the exhaust, let's see about this. Let's see right here. Look, my light's going out. You can't really, but you can see how that sharp edge is around there. You just blend all that stuff in and just leave it as is. I mean, if you really want to widen this and raise the roof out, and then there isn't really much. It's like it's already cast like a ported port or something. It's pretty trippy. Ah. For 120 bucks? Or 260 bucks. It's kind of crazy. Now let's see about the intake side. This is an iPhone 7 Plus, so I'm gonna, it's supposed to be a good camera, but I'm not. Now the intake guide, boss, it looks like you can pull it down, actually cut it. If you had good guides, cut that thing off and then blend it. It doesn't look quite as sketchy as the exhaust. Huh. See, it feels like there's a bunch of meat there too as far as if someone wanted to really raise the roof on this thing. Um, the 
push rod. You can see the push rod hole, but there's actually some meat you could. You can't go too far with a push rod, but according to the cast cast port size, it's really there's not much in the way up here. I mean, you could smooth that out because there's one little bump right there. And then if you wanted to widen this, I guess you would just take the meat out of here as far as the gasket would go. Huh. But really just for the, if you're gonna blow, put some boost to it, just blend stuff up and go to town. But this is the question. Are those any good? And like the one guy said on there on Mopart's. How you gonna know? Try it, right? <laughs> Run it and see if your valves start to flop around. Make sure that they're super tight to start with. And then, uh, I guess you could use that ball hone to put some crosshatch in there because I don't really see any crosshatch in it. Can't see in there either. Anyway, that's not. Can't really see any crosshatch, and like I say, with the ball mic, they look they just all through there, they feel the same. It's not like they're oval, they're egged, or I mean, if they're tapered or anything, they feel good. But just have to run it and see how long it lasts. Anyway, that's my overview of this $120 Pro uh, Speedmaster head. Supposedly, it's one year old, I had it for one year. And it needs some money, so he sold it.